Good job. Get Marley, get her, get her. Hi, Peter. When I first saw Winnie in the sand trap, I could not believe what I was witnessing. Marley took off and pulled her out of the sand trap. And they started to do their little zoomies. It was the sweetest thing. You never see Winnie without seeing Marley. They run and play together and always just having the best time. <laughs> but never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that there would be the kind of bond that they had. <laughs> Winnie, what are you doing to poor Marley? I got Winnie from my vet, who is also in rescue. <laughs> I was actually dropping off some foster puppies, and I said, no more puppies. And she said, well, come look at this little puppy. And I thought she was the cutest thing I ever saw. So I said, okay, I'll take her home. Strictly a foster. She was wobbly, but she was able to walk. And then one day she just sat down and quit walking. I'm not really sure what happened. So I took her back to the vet and she said, we need to get her a wheelchair. And I was like, I'm not prepared for this, but I wanted to help her get up. So I couldn't let her go. I did everything I could to help her. She did months and months of physical therapy. And she did the water exercises. Go in! There you go. Good job. There were times when we felt like we would take one step forward and then two steps back. She wanted so desperately to be able to run and play with my other pups, and she couldn't. Watching her struggle just was heartbreaking. But one day, Marley came into the picture. Hey, friend. She already had an adopter. She was strictly coming to my house for me to foster her. And she and Winnie, they are instantly drawn to each other. The wheelchair didn't bother Marley at all. She showed Winnie how to just be a puppy, how to run and play tug of war. Every day that we had Marley, I could just see Winnie just totally coming out of her shell. So when Marley had to go to her new home, I was really concerned. I could tell that Winnie was missing Marley. I started posting videos of Winnie and Marley on my Instagram account. And the adopter saw them and called me and said, you know what, I can't separate them. And ever since that day, they've been the happiest together. Winnie is full speed ahead. Now with Marley, nothing gets her down. When Peta's outside in the front yard, she's using all her willpower for the door to open. She'll run to the door so she can go in to see Pia. We've set up our cameras to notify us anytime there's this blonde golden doodle just sitting on our doorstep. You wanna go see your friend? Now, as I walk through the door, I see a bonus dog in the house. Oh my God, you brought me a toy! Bring it here! But it's not just our door that Peta knocks on. She also knows what our car sounds like. What's in your mouth, young lady? And it's so sad to see when Peta has to go because V will actually look out the window and look for her. Hi! 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 We got Fia shortly after we lost another dog who was a really big part of our family. So there was a sad grieving time, but then we were ready to welcome a new dog into our family. So we adopted Fia a little over four years ago. There came a point where it was time for us to move to a new home. Come here! My husband was in the front yard meeting our neighbors. 
and we saw our neighbor's dog appear at our back door. Hey, wait, 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 where are you going? Peter investigated the house, got to meet Thea, and the two of them became absolute best friends. <laughs> and that was kind of where this whole thing began. Hey, Peter, everyone's talking about you at work. Peter quickly learned that if she stood at our front door, she might get to see Thea. Eventually, she would take a quick jog through the bushes right over to our front door. Now, when her dad is out in the front yard making phone calls, he lets her walk over, knock on our door, and if we're home, she comes in and plays. Little play, you wanna go inside? It's so interesting because Peta and Fia are complete different personalities. Peta is this super laid back, very chill, easy to love, fluff ball of a dog. And then we've got Fia, who's got a lot of spunk, a lot of attitude. But despite being total opposites, these two have become best friends. And ultimately, it's so fun to see these two together. <laughs> when we see Pita and Fia together, we just feel at peace. Let's go. Pita changed Fia's life because she gave her a best friend in her new neighborhood. And just to see both of them be really happy together means a lot to us.